welcome all this is dna assurance video part 2 in this video we are going to focus on wireless assurance and how to troubleshoot a wireless issue with assurance so this is our dna home page we'll go to assurance within assurance i have walked you through all these tabs before what we would like to do is go to ap intelligent capture and enable both the features like ap start capture and anomaly capture you can see i have enabled it again globally and also so th this is you need to enable so that it can capture all those granular details then what you can do you can go to uh, first let's see if we have any host connected so click on assurance client view you can see i have a wireless host active one and if i want to see the detail i'm going to click view details so it is going to show me the all the details the mac address which ip it is connected what is the ip address i got and all those things what ssid it is using all those details i can get it from here okay what i am interested in is click on identifier get the mac address so that if a user is complaining that he is having some issues uh, a wireless user having some issues we can use the uh, her, his his or her mac address for troubleshooting so you can see that for onboarding we are capturing some of the things like aaa and dhcp that looks good and this is how it is connected so i have a client who is connecting to ssid and this is the ip it is connected to and then it's going to my uh, wlc or lan controller so all those great information we have uh, from assurance itself uh, what we can do we can dig deep and do some cap packet capture just like we do for wired user we can do a uh, packet capture for wireless user also and this is very powerful feature so i'm going to find my client with my mac address select the client save it and a packet capture is running what i am going to do i am going to trigger some issue so i am going to uh, flap the uh, nick card on the on the desktop by enabling and disabling it so that the association reassociation process triggers again meanwhile keep the capture running okay so i flapped it and now uh, it is again connected back to uh, the ssid it has got the ip address also so now let's stop the capture yes you can do you can this is my new capture click on the capture it will bring you to the dhcp um, capture information so you can see that all those capture information you can see from here and this is the sequence of event what happened so the latest event is at the top and uh, older one in the below so you can see that is on it onboarding happen and then it has got the dhcp ip address so all these things happen while i flap this and as as you click on what, any of the event you can see what is actually happening so you can go in the time series and see what is was happening over there all kind of stats available to view you can actually download or export the entire event 
just select the latest one and then you can say export PCAP. It will get downloaded to your local machine and from there you can simply open it So you can see all those things. There's wireless rekeys happening, application data it's receiving, all those things. And, and mind it, these all happen in clear text. So you are getting a decrypted output, which is very powerful 